um, we want a landscape. Do we start with a landscape? I do want to do a little bit of a hill, probably. Or no. Or yes. Or no. I don't know. Let, let's figure it out later. For now, I'm just going to block it out real fast. So let's say the width of it is around 7 meters. I think 7 meters is fine for, for a building and the length of it is gonna be... 12 meters is not enough, 20 meters, something like that. That seems like a fine proportion and then 3.5 meters for the, for the height. That's... we did a box, yay. Um, will we have two floors? We will, I think. So let's grab and copy this box up and just make make it into a second floor. Uh, make the Rhino viewport white. Mm, definitely not. My I don't know. This this seems like a very generic a very generic building form. Maybe we can do something a little bit more like so. So this facade would look like this. That seems fine. Then we would have a pretty large cantilever with only this area holding it up, which is, you know, <laughs> questionable. But I think the inner space would look kind of nice. Let's add a little bit of a height to it. Something closer to this. And this little guy right here, I think it needs to move out. So, okay, what's, what's the, the floor area that we are dealing with right now? So this is 266 square meters. Ah oh, shit, that's that's a really that, that's that's a that's a big boy. That's a big boy right there. What if we scale it down? I don't want it to be that big. Okay, so this proportion is not as elegant as it was, but I think we will manage to make it elegant later. Um, so let's rebuild this as a sub D geometry. Sub D tools. Uh, we start with a box, I guess. I'm just gonna. Do we have something like that? Or actually, let's let's do it this way. With the side here. We're just gonna start from there. And now I want a plane here. Hmm. There, by the way, there's no correct way of how to start working with this. Right now, I'm just kind of winging it and then seeing what whatever works. So this goes, uh, this gets closer. These two get deleted. This and this gets bridged. Okay, now this should bridge properly. Yeah, there we go. Bridge. Okay. We have this shape going on here, that's fine. We'll make it nice later. Ooh, that's our first floor. Our second floor... Um, I will just straight up just extrude this um, in Z direction, then extrude this in... Uh, I, I don't know, X direction? Doesn't really matter for me right now. We have something like this going on. So this is where it becomes tricky. This, this brick right here, that the topology will become tricky here. I will want a terrace there. But this will need to be extruded and kind of joined in with the rest. Uh, that's, a, that's a tricky boy. That's a tricky boy. Okay, let's add a little bit more resolution here. Okay, and you can see here, like this point right here, like these two points right here, they, they are being separated, right? That means that the, the, these points are not kind of welded together, right? There are two duplicate points uh, at, at this particular spot, and it's actually in most of the spots here. So I need to fix that. I think align vertices should work. At least it used to work. No vertices were adjusted. Great, so they don't. Or maybe we just use like, okay, uh, so we just needed a larger tolerance. And now we have a pretty decent edge loop here that we can use to our advantage. How is that, you ask? Well, we get rid of this, and actually that as well. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, now we're cooking. Okay, 
Wait, how does this work? Ah, oh, shit. It needs to protrude here. That's gonna be a tricky thing to do. Okay, first let's fix this part. You two need to go here. And you, sir, will need to... And we will snap to an intersection right here so that everything is kind of in the same plane in this in this area. Actually, maybe I want it this way. And I only want this and this to protrude. By the way, it's not going to be this blobby. If you're thinking that, oh my god, this looks like snot, it's, it's not going to be... <laughs> it's not going to look like snot. Well, most of it is not going to look like snot. Some of it will. So one last thing to do. Well, not, not last thing, but for, for, for massing, one, one thing to do is uh, merging uh, this with this, right? We, need, we wanted the belly to actually flop and, and merge with, with the shape here. Ah, that's gonna be a, a doozy. That's gonna be a tricky thing. And we change this to shaded. Now these are merged. Whee! Okay. I want, even though these are merged, I want this to kind of stick out in a nice way. I definitely want this to be heavier though. Okay, we have it going. We have that. And now we have this opening here that I can continue extruding that. And now all we need to do is loft, no, not loft, uh, sub D loft. Corners join. Whee! Well, topologically speaking, it's not great, um, but it's, it's gonna, it's gonna work out, I promise. You'll see. You will see. So now we're, uh, we have the topology going. Now it's time for proportions and, and making sure that everything kind of works together. I don't care about this anymore. Time to measure a bunch of distances. 4 meters, that's good enough. 3.5 meters, that is... that could be higher. I'm going to make it higher. Um... Now it's four meters. Oh, it should be good enough. Yeah, that's that's a nicer, uh, a little bit of a nicer noodle than what it was before. Yeah, let's let's make it a bit more bulky. So you, sir. Actually, we already have a direction that we can use. You, sir, will snap to that direction, like so. But let's close this this opening here, just like that, and just like nope, <laughs> not like that, just like that. Join everything up. That was a delete button. This is going to be a building eventually. Eventually. For now, it's not even close, I know, but it is going to be a building. Are we doing too much? Maybe we are doing too much with it. Maybe it's becoming overly complicated. Also, it has a lot of these kind of straight segments here that I don't really like. Like this cantilever is nice, this is not nice. So what I'm gonna do is I will just do this. Join everything up. Do I want it that way? I mean, it looks kind of shitty, doesn't it? Like the, this area right here. This, and let's rethink this. What if... I think something like this is a bit better. And also... Now we need to take care of... This inner courtyard area. I want it to be pretty Japanese, right? I, I want it to be kind of inset inwards. And I'm just thinking how to do it properly. Maybe we do use inset and just call it a day. Enter. Holy sh**. 
that looks bad. <laughs> Why? This is not 200 millimeters. What do you mean? Sure, uh, I'll, I'll fix it by myself. Yes. What does it mean? It means that I can take these surfaces now and I can extrude sub D. I can extrude them inwards, and I'm just going to have like a meter extrusion. Not oops. That's wrong side. Yeah, that seems like a like a decent porch. Yeah. That's cool. I want this to be a terrace. Something like that. Yeah. And actually, let's do the same thing here. There we go. Something like this. Well, that works. That works. The question is when do we start? Uh, when do we start actually making this into a building? Because right now we're just kind of messing around with it as if it's a clay shape. Maybe not yet. I mean, this this part is nice. This part, I'm not sure. Yeah, I like this better. But now, this corner becomes very important. And the question is, what do we do? What do we do with the, with the corner? Yeah, boy. Yep, yep, yep. I think it's coming together, bit by bit. Do we do a railing? That's the question. Do we do a railing? I think a railing would look nice. But do we do a railing now or do we do it later? Because there's still a bunch of stuff. Oh, right, right. I wanted to fix this. There's still a bunch of stuff left to left to fix. You sir need to move back in a bit. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And a little bit more a little bit calmer as well. Like that. Ooh. What kind of hiccup is this? Well, that's a bulge right there. That is a bulge. Do we like the bulge, though? Honestly, I think I like the bulge. I think we will keep it. Yeah, so I was talking about the railing here. Uh, we will add that, and also we will add a little bit of more drama to this side here. For now, this seems okay. Back to railing. I think, I think, I think, as long as we create a sub uh, a, a loop here, that should work, right? Yeah, so I'm going to just select this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have a little bit of a railing going on. What about for this area? Do you want railing for this area? I assume we do, right? I think we do. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We have some sort of a, an entry, entry sequence here that we actually want to work with a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe we do... For this and this, we do inset. We have something like this, and this will sink down. What if we do this? That could be cool. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Two bumps going out. And you basically step out from here, right? Into into the terrace. And from here, into, into the terrace. Sure, let's let's do it this way. Do we start working on the interior? I think we do. Like there, there's still a lot of work to be done here for sure. But I think, actually, I'm going to get rid of this whole this whole part, and also I'm going to get rid of this whole part and 
this and also this there we go we have a shell and since we have a shell I believe we can just offset WD uh, solid no and do we offset it outwards or inwards that's the question I think we offset it inwards right by let's do let's do 200 mil and now we have two shells that in some places are going to yep <clears throat> in some places they are going to intersect right so we will need to solve those issues for sure if i was smarter i would have planned this out better but unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately i'm not so we are kind of now fixing things okay now now this should work uh, offset sub d and actually maybe we can do solid yes solid delete input yes check it out The question is, do we get rid of the creases? I kind of like the creases. That works. That works. It works. How's the interior space? That, that looks kind of nice. That looks kind of neat. Yo, I forgot. God damn it. I forgot an entrance. Um, we need an entrance, guys. We need an entrance. Maybe even two. I think our entrance is going to be here. Inwards, 200. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 That's a, that's a breaky boy. Oh yeah, of course. It, it breaks because this is way too small. We undo, undo, undo. And we do, do it again. Perfect, and I can offset sub D inwards 200. Do we whip out the clipping plane to check what's what's going on? There's our floor or lack thereof of a floor. We will need to add it. Uh, now what I want to do, and actually this is going to be like the last thing that I'm, I'm going to do for, for the stream. I really want to eat. Uh, we're going to create a landscape. So an immediate landscape is going to be just a surface, right? Uh, so I'm just going to create a plane. Bam. Done. Plane. And then for this plane, we are going to push and pull on it, right? To, to, to create some sort of a irregularities. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Actually, let's uh, let's real quickly check out how it's uh, how it would look like. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. It's enough for today. For today, it's enough.